Hello and welcome to another case study of Nettoplan. Throughout this video you will learn how to use the connection and mission control simulation. This post analysis tool simulates the network operation where traffic demands are the source of random arrivals of connection requests. Each connection has an associated duration and traffic volume that can be randomly or deterministically chosen according to a built-in or user-made pattern. This simulation tool allows testing connection and mission control algorithms that block the connection requests or allocate them deciding the route. First of all, open NetPlan, then click on Tools, Connection and Mission Control Simulation. If you want more information on how to create and save a network topology, please watch the video Case Study Offline Network Design. This window is divided into three separate areas. The top left area, called Network Topology, as you can see, this grey area, is where you will load the topology used in the connection admission control simulation. In this area, you will see the nodes and links of your topology. The bottom left area, called the simulation controller panel, has several buttons that allow to control the simulation flow. In the right area, you can see several tabs, where you can review the view current state of your network, you can choose the algorithms, simulation and the input parameters, view a report of the simulation and generate reports of your topology. We will see this later. Before proceeding, I will explain how the simulation works internally. Once the simulation has started, the kernel will ask for new connection request events to the event generator, also called connection generator. Once those events are generated, they will be sent back to the kernel and the future event list FEL will be updated. We will see this term, the future event list, when we perform the actual simulation. Next, the kernel will call the event processor, the CSC algorithm, with the new event on the future event list. Based on this event, that may be a request or release of a connection, the CSC algorithm will perform some actions and those actions will be returned to the kernel to be processed. Once processed, the kernel will update the network state, collect some statistics, and then will move to the next event of the future event list, calling again the CSC algorithm, and this cycle will repeat. In order to perform a simulation, a complete topology must be loaded first. A complete topology is one that has nodes, links, a set of demands, and routes. To do so, just click the load button, and we will use one of the topologies included in Net to plan as examples. We will use the NSFNet, that is a complete topology, and once open, you can see that the nodes and links of the topology are displayed in the network topology panel. Under the view current network state, you get information about the elements of your network. For example, you can review information about the nodes, the links, or the demands. If you want more information about the meaning of these tabs and its fields, please view the video Case Study of Land Network Design. Execution Control tab is where you can set the simulation parameters and you can choose the algorithms for the simulation. In this panel here, we can see the simulation parameters, their value, and a brief description about each parameter. We have several parameters here. For example, the disabled statistics. This parameter is set to true, will disable the recopilation of statistics, and then uh, they will not be shown in the simulation report. We will review this later. For now, we will set it to false. For example, the incremental model, if set to true, 
we want the simulation until request block connection processed. The refresh time indicates the refresh time in seconds of the information that will be shown in the simulation control. If you want to change any of these values, we will click on them and change it. For example, we will change the refresh time to 3. The parameter called sim events controls the total events to be simulated. If it's set to minus 1, the simulation will, will run automatically until it's stopped manually. The same thing with the parameter sim time. It's the total time of the simulation. If it's set to minus 1, will keep running until the user stops the simulation. More information about the rest of the parameters can be found in the user's guide at the website nettoplan.com. On this panel here, we can choose the connection event generator algorithm. For this example, we will use one of the algorithms included in Nettoplan as examples, particularly the exponential connection generator. You can see here a brief description about this algorithm. The connection generator in which connection requests from traffic demands arrive according to a Poisson process are now independent of each other. Any input parameters that the algorithm may have are displayed here. Again, you can change them just by clicking on them and setting any value. To choose the CAC algorithm, we we'll click here and we will use the basic CAC algorithm. This algorithm tries to route each connection request in the shortest path. Once the simulation parameters are set and the algorithms are chosen, we will proceed to run a simulation. Start the simulation, just click on Run on the simulation controller and now the simulation is running in the background. As you can see, since the refresh time parameter is set to 3, this information here will be refreshed every 3 seconds. If we click on pause, the simulation will pause and we can see here some information about the simulation. For example, we can see the current simulation time and the CPU time, the number of processed events and the number of pending events. If you want a more detailed control of the flow of the simulation, you can, instead of click, run and pause continue, you can use the step button. The step button will just process the next scheduled event and then pause the simulation. As you can see, each time you click the step button, a new process event will occur. At any moment, you can view the FEL, that is the future events list, where you can see the future events processed by the simulator in order. Also, you can generate your own events by just clicking manually generate new event. But you can choose the traffic demands, for example, between the node 0 and 3, the traffic volume, for example, 20, the arrival time in seconds from now, for example, 3, and the holding time, that is the duration of the connection, for example, 5 seconds. If we click OK, the event is now added to the future event list. At any moment, during the execution of the simulation, we can click on simulation report, then update. And you will see a report of the simulation, including some general information and some information about the state of the network, as you can see here. Also, you can click View in Navigator, and since the report has been generated as a HTML file, it will be opened on your default browser, as you can see here, containing the same information that the report displayed in Netoplan. If you click on view current network state, you can analyze now some information about the active connection and the active connection routes. 
it's important to note that if you click on toggle show height planning information you can see for example the tabs node the difference between the current state of the network during the simulation as shown here and the original static design as shown here in the line below if you click in active connections you can see an identification number of each connection the demand and some information about the ingress and egress node the arrival time the duration and the finish time if you then click on active connection rules as you can see the same information but applied to routes identification number of each route the connection associated to that connection which route and then for example the sequence of links the links 0 and 5 and the sequence of nodes for example for this connection English node is the node 0 and the egress node is the node 3 and this is the path for the connection also at any moment you can generate specific reports using the current state of the network we will select now one of the reports that are included in net to plan for example the report availability you can see here at the brief description this report analyzes a network design in terms of average availability under a set of failures any input parameter shown here and again they can be fully modified we'll just click on show and as you can see the report has been generated and displayed here and we can view the report at any time you can click again in view navigator and since the report is generated as a html file it will be opened on your default browser for you to review as you can see here and that is all thanks for watching and please visit netoplan.com